Yo guys, what is going on? My name is Diggity Wiggity Wah, and this is Robocop Rogue City. This will be part four, and we're searching for soot. I want to take the time to say thank you guys, gals, non-binary, soap dispensers, pizza boxes, whatever you identify as. I want to say thank you very much for all the love, the support, the hate, the whatever it is. I really appreciate it. It's tough uh, when you're trying to get a YouTube channel going. So thank you very much for everything. Truly. So this is a very barren game. Uh, I really like it. If you've been following along, it's, it's pretty sweet in a lot of ways. But I got to say, this is very barren. Like, that's the first... Look at him. He's, like, running into stuff. That's the first person I've come across. Oh, there's there's a second. There's two more. We, we hit the honey hole. Would it allow me to go back in if I wanted to? It would not. Yeah, I mean, it's telling me to. Uh, if you're wondering what that door was, I just tried to go in. That was the cop that's missing. His name is Briggs. This is where Soap is supposed to be hiding. Can't really call it hiding if he sent invitations to the whole city. A bit Rudy forgot about us. At least I will not feel bad crashing his party. Murphy, I was thinking about what happened to you at the TV station. Maybe you shouldn't... No need for alarm. Becker's chip is keeping my circuits in check. You're more than just circuits, Murphy. Underneath all that metal, there's still you. Mm. Alex Murphy is gone. He lost his life. And despite that burden, you carry on. That's Robocop. You've done more for this city dead than anyone has alive. True. That has to count for something. Uh, I'm gonna shut up now. Just take this little something to remind you of what I've just said. Open it the next time Becker gets under your skin. Ooh, buddy. Mm, sounds like a goodie. Also, don't forget you have a partner who's counting on you. Search for Sir. Concert in an old a new skill point is available. Al, right? Um, I'm gonna go with. Ah, oh, damn. I'm gonna. I gotta go with armor. I seem to be taking a lot of hits lately. I suppose it fits those animals. The place looks deserted. Are you sure your junkie friend didn't mix up the venues? He is the type who likes to mix things up. We shall have to see. That keeps me searching for a heart of gold. Is this supposed to be a private show? And I'm getting old. Nothing in here. Nothing. We cannot go this way. We would need a warrant. Okay. I can't believe those stupid directives are still holding you back. <clears throat> Go ahead, partner. What? Wait, what? You're telling me to do it? Oh. Damn, I was about to go, like, hunting for stuff. Oh, the stench. Someone missed potty training. <laughs> Fake ID card. In the, in the toilet. Take some new... Stolen watch. That's the weirdest stuff to me that we're finding like the weirdest things. It appears that we are facing the birth of a new drug empire. Although Kane, the drug lord and creator of Nuke, is dead and his cult has been dissolved, the drug factories continue to operate. As Nuke continues to ravage the streets of Detroit, it looks like someone has succeeded Kane. The question is who sat on the drug king's throne and what? city authorities and police will do about it more on page five well you didn't give me page if five. soot is such a great performer shouldn't there be a big line in here regardless of his vocal abilities i still want to see him sing wait I think I can hear something. 
Maybe yeah, your informer was right after all. Gherkin, was it? Gherkin? Pickles. Gherkin? Oh, pickles! I like the way you said that. Pickles! Keeps me searching for a heart of yes. gold. Yes, I definitely hear some commotion on the other side. Let's have a look, shall we? Oh, shit! Pigs on our lap! Why can't you give us a fucking break? Justice never sleeps. Scumbag! I'm seeing some new things in the bottom right, C and G. G looks like a special shield, and C, I don't know what C is going to do. Let's hurry up. They probably know we're here. Oh, the way they handle those drugs, I doubt they know where they are. Oh, that's why they're so strong and they can take so many hits. Another locked door. Because they're on new. I'm going to call this probable cause. No need for a warrant. Murphy? Behind you! 
<risos> Up you get, big man. Yeah, They're closing in on us. Cara. I'm Crazy when they wear the mask. Damn, he's got a kid in the towel. I just realized it's so bad. Oh, she got him? Wait! Don't worry, partner. We'll Whoa. stay in contact. We were able to detach that. Shit, this is gonna be nuts. No extra health, huh? I gotta use that, uh, those hotkeys more.
nothing, huh? Crazy. Last time I opened one of those crates, it was like there's nothing in it, but I saw it gave all kind of benefits. I just need to I can still This can't be. I had everything lined up perfectly. Let us talk. Let us Stay talk. the fuck away! You can't touch me! I do business with the new guy! You seem to know a lot about him. You're not getting anything out of me! Do you know how many cops I've killed? I ain't scared of you. Besides, I'm pumped up with nuke like a freaking power plant. Great. So you're like a boss. Then now. get ready for a meltdown. Great. You think you're gonna get anything out of the Torchhead's top dog? <laughs> That's quite a grip you got there. Is that supposed to scare me? Not a single scratch. <laughs> What's going on? I've been hit. I'm not sure what's happening right now. Yesterday someone sent a stripper for my birthday. I want to find this kind soul and thank them in my special way. I want to burn the date of my actual birthday on their forehead. It's 0511, not yesterday. Some fan you are your disappointed superstar boss. Wow, he's uh, got a big ego. Knock yourself out! That's not even mine! You know my birthday? I don't remember getting a gift from you. That's not nice! Now what? Interrogate soup, but it's not letting me. What the hell is going on? That stuff doesn't come cheap! They just want me to keep breaking stuff? No! That was the only thing in my collection that I didn't steal! I freaking hate you! I don't understand. That's enough! Oh, okay. I'll talk! Okay, I understand now, but that wasn't made very clear. When it Lewis, says I have someone. Soot. He is ready to give me his statement about the new guy. Plus, there's a chair sticking out of him. Hear it from the man himself? Where is Officer Lewis? She's outside, right next to me. We're having a nice citizen officer chat. Um, why don't you take my rising star and join us so we can exchange partners? Hey! What the hell are you doing now? The new guy is here. You are coming with me. In that case, giddy up! Because <laughs> he knows he's gonna be okay. Can you even feel the fear? Because you should be crapping in your pants right now. Probably. You have stepped into a big yeah, no freaking mess! Cleaning up the town mess is what I do. Uh, that was an awesome concert! If it wasn't for you, they would have never have guessed it was all on playback! I need some flu, got take noob, noob, noob. No help, huh? Everywhere I look, I see noob, noob, noob. Girls, girls, girls. My left hip is getting a bit numb. Can we swap sides? 
I can throw you across the building. Oh no. What are we stopping for? Huh? Is your battery drained or something? Don't you worry about my battery. Now, me and your partner here are growing impatient. Why don't you hurry up? Whoa. What's wrong? Piggy scared of a meat hook? Ha ha ha! Girls, girls, girls. <laughs> He's Lewis, so sick, I'm all right, Murphy. Drop your weapon. You are under arrest. Oh, I don't think you're reading this situation correctly. There's gonna be people everywhere. <laughs> Thanks for the ride, big guy. Ah, it's the new guy in town. Welcome to Detroit. I assume you've seen our little TV spot. Short and sweet. You know the first rule of show business? Leave them wanting more. That's a lighter you got there. <clears throat> Murphy? Something wrong. Hey, so, I think it's time to get back to business. You fucking idiot. Your stupid stunt put a spotlight on me. Oh, you want to talk business? Here's a free lesson. You never, ever fuck with the money. <laughs> Knew it. Oh. I don't think so. <clears throat> Murphy, what's happening? Now that we've got that out of the way, let me introduce myself. My name is Wendell Antonowski. I believe you've met my brother before. <laughs> my brother really did a number on you, didn't he? But, thanks to him, you've been given this... Great opportunity. What the fuck are you doing to him? There are people who would do anything to be in your position, to have your abilities. And yet, you attach yourself to something that is the weakest in you. To the part that's still human. Imagine the pristine life you could lead without the things that limit you. Murphy, don't let him get inside your head! Like her. No attachments, no leverage. I admit, when I first heard that you were the reason my idiot brother was dead, huh, I was furious. <sighs> wow. But then I got to thinking, why would I let anyone have such power over me. So I let it go. And now, I'm here to help you do the same. This is not an act of revenge. This is a gift. Fuck you, scumbag! Lewis! Pretty sure that's what happens too, if I'm not mistaken, right? It's been a while. Another fucking glitch. What a shit show. Everything's ready. Switching back on already. Lewis! Whoa, Robo. Calm down. He'll tear the equipment apart. Wendell Antonowski ran away and Lewis is in the hospital. What did you do? Just yeah, stand there and watch it as yeah. it happened? I want to see her. She's in surgery as we speak, so that's not going to happen. Instead, you're going to go through with your psych evaluation. Let me go! The old man wasn't happy that I let you skip your first session and was adamant that I make sure you attend this one. Especially since the problem of you malfunctioning has obviously persisted. So, doctor, do your thing. What? Now? He's in no shape to be examined. I'm afraid that I must insist. This is highly unprofessional. 
I need to apprehend Wendell. I don't think you understand your options, Shiny. In that, you don't have any. You either comply, or you'll be dismantled. I'm only really rooting for one of these options. Very well. Doctor? If this is supposed to resemble a therapy session in any way, I need everyone that isn't my client to leave. That is not negotiable. And is it necessary to have him restrained? That's for your safety. What if he loses control? <sighs> exactly. If anything goes wrong, just use this reset button. One press, and he goes back to La La Land. Okay, let's leave the good doctor to work. And Robo, see me after this is over. I'm sorry it has to look like this. That was a weird glitch. Are you at least sitting comfortably enough to have this conversation? No. I need to find Wendell... Antonelli. My partner was shot, and I need to find the person responsible. You do. But I think you'll agree that you should be in the best shape possible to undertake that task. I understand this is not an ideal situation, and this is probably the last place you want to be right now. I'm not the only one unwilling to be here. Your heart rate is above 120 BPM. You're equipped with a heart rate monitor? I imagine it comes in handy in your line of work. It does. I agree this whole thing is happening rather fast, but we are both professionals at helping others. So how about we start again? My name is Dr. Olivia Blanche. Naturally, I've heard people refer to you by different names, but I'm curious to hear which one you prefer. Robocop is the name I was given. If that is what you prefer, then Robocop it is. I've worked with many police officers that have gone through traumatic experiences, but I think we can both agree that you are no ordinary police officer. How do you see your situation? I am a machine, built using OCP's finest technology with the brain of a fallen officer, Alex Murphy. The best money can buy, from what I hear. But that's something that I've already learned from the reports. What I would much rather hear is how do you perceive yourself? Perceive? Yes. See, what I found immensely helpful in working with my patients is transparency. In order to help each other, we need to be able to see each other fully. Naked? Oh, wow. Do not say I did not warn you. Consider me warned. Now that you see me the way I am, do you wish to push the reset button? Your heart rate remains high. No. Not at all. It's actually my secret that is making me nervous, not yours. You're not the only one here with prosthetic body parts. This hand... You must have wondered what happened. Some time ago, I was a victim of a crime. A thief broke into my house. He made a lot of noise, and my neighbors called the police. I didn't even notice. And Ed 209 reacted to the call and mistakenly recognized me as a threat. Damn. My hand was red mist moments later. Since that day, I have become, let's say, a little leery of machines. Do you fear us? I fear the unpredictability that machines bring with them. So when I heard there was a chance to contribute to the research on the stability of OCP's mechanical units, I jumped at the opportunity. I hope you don't find it unprofessional. Getting that off my chest made me feel a bit better. How about you check my pulse now? It has dropped below 120 you BPM. You see, I don't just impose things onto my clients. I practice what I preach because it seems to work. I think that makes for a very promising start. Thank you, Robocop. Primary objectives, secondary objectives. Oh, I didn't see any of that. Who killed Casey Karma? Wow. Missed some stuff. Oh, wow. I missed a lot of stuff. I missed a lot of stuff. Holy cow. Oh my god, I gotta be more thorough. Uh, you know what it is? In fairness, I don't have that um, that talent to distinguish like between the graffiti 
and even the junction boxes and as well as cracking safe. So I think that's where a lot of that's going to come in is reading the graffiti, the um, the power boxes, things like that. So, I, yeah, I think a lot of that's out of my hands for now. Guys, I'm going to end this part here. Um, this is going to be the end of part four and part five. We will continue on with the mandatory evaluation. It sounds exciting. Uh, I want to take the time to say thank you guys and gals and pizza boxes, soap dispensers, whatever it is you identify as. Um, thank you very much for all the love, all the support, the hate, the comments, whatever it is. Really appreciate it. Uh, if you could get your friends, your brothers, your sisters, your moms, your dads to have an account and subscribe to me, even just for the time being, uh, I would really appreciate that. That would mean a great deal to me. So thank you very much. I love you guys. And I will see you shortly with another part 